Hello, uh, let us talk about stack. Stack. As you see in this discussion, we have a discussion about what is a stack, stack implementation using array, stack implementation using linked list, and application of stacks. Just to begin with, I must tell you that stack is one of the very important data structure which has a tremendous amount of application in not only operating system design, but every compiler of the world uses a stack to do processing of expressions. You write a program which actually gets converted into an executable program and you run it. But the compiler actually using a stack to implement different parsers. When you read, when you go into the subject of compiler design, you will see that tremendous amount of stack is used and a stack is a very foundation data structure that you must understand very clearly and also appreciate and learn and love it. So in our daily life, we have stack everywhere. You see when you are in the kitchen, you put all the plates one after the other. When you are on the table, you have books one after the other you are stacking everything that means when you are keeping books the last book you keep at first and uh, and the, and the first book you keep actually which is at the bottom and the last book is on the top so what happens if you look at the stack arrangement everything you stack the last item that you keep you get at first so sometimes we call it last in first out data structure leave for why? Because the way we keep and the way we manage is very, very important. All right, so let me take you to the discussion. What is a stack? It's a data structure. It's a linear data structure. Data is added and removed at only one end called top. That means from the top you are keeping data. We have two operations in the stack. One we call push operation. Push an item onto the stack. It must be placed on the top of the stack. And if I want to take out an item from the stack, we call it pop operation. Pop an item from the stock. And once you pop an item from the stack, it must be removed from the top of the stack. So top of the stack actually is the most important area where stack operates. And the last element that is pushed into the stack is the first element to be popped out of the stack. So that's why we call it last in first out data structure. All right. So a stack is actually a very simple, very effective, very meaningful data structure. Now take a look at this example. We have this stack of numbers 271 and I'm pushing. Once I push, push is an insert operation in a stack. You push 8, 8 comes on the top, top increases and top comes here. Now top was here at 2, top was actually at minus before push and then top became zero when you push first then one then two then three and now you are pushing again you push two your top again increase and the two is on the top and then finally you pop now what you get you two get actually two gets out eight is on the top now that means top is decreasing as you keep popping top is decreasing keep popping top is decreasing. So what happens when you push, top increases. When you pop, top decreases. Alright, so stack implementation, we can actually have two types of implementation. We can implement using array, we can implement using linked list. And in case of array, I'm just showing you a declaration here. I'm defining a max size constant. Let's say maximum number I can store. I'm defining that I want to store eight maximum number. So it is an array stack 8 it's an integer array and as you have seen the top the role of top i define minus one because top still array i did not insert anything so i'm going to show you a couple of code and describe about how you implement a stack two operation to implement very clearly one is push another is pop so look at the stack operation push method and this is actually stack using array so what you do in this operation you can see you have a push function you can actually, you know, it's, it's a void function, so it's not integer, it's actually void, push, and you are defining a data, you want to insert a data. So when you call push, 
it never returns anything. So take a correction. It is not integer, it is void push. And this data, when you insert, it comes in the function you are checking with the top. And you have defined the maximum size. You remember, I go back again, I show you. The max size is 8 and top is minus 1. So top increases first because it was minus 1, now it is 1. Minus 1 plus 1 is top is 0 now. And you are keeping at 0 location the data. You can also display a message that this data is this data is pushed into the stack. If top is somehow already not less than max size, that means top is for example 9, stack is full, could not be inserted. So in a stack we have a check when we are pushing that whether the stack is full or not. Similarly, we have a check when we are popping if the stack is empty or not. So I'm going to show you the next function is the pop function. And this pop function using array is very simple. You are actually now having an integer function pop. Why? Because you pop, you get the data. And this data you define first a local variable. You are checking again because top should be greater than or equal to 0. Why? Because you know if top is minus 1, top is increasing when you actually push. When you pop, top is decreasing. And top becomes 0 means almost the last item of the stack. So, you have top greater than 0, then get, get the data in this local variable data from the stack array location of top and then decrease the top by 1 because you are actually decreasing and then you return the data. But if it happens in, in this pop function, we also need to check whether the stack is empty. If in case it happens that the stack is, is actually less than 0, that means top minus 1, that means the stack is empty. So is that clear that you have a push function? You can see push function is a void function. It's not integer. You are pushing. But you are checking what? Whether the stack is full or not. Pop function, you are actually taking out the data. You are checking what? Whether the stack is empty or not. Now take a look at the second implementation. And any time I want to get the top item on the stack is simply stack of top. This is an array. And top is the index location. You get the data. Whoever is at the top, you can get it. These three method, method is very important. One is a push, another is pop, another is get top. Take a look at the implementation as a linked list. Linked list, you already know that we need to create a self-referential node. Our node name is stack. I define a capacity constant, which is, let's say, 10,000. That means I, I don't expect more than 10,000 storage. And then I define this node, the stack, I have integer data item and the next item is a pointer. Next, as you know, it is a self-referential structure. Then you define using type def stack and define a pointer of type pointer top representing actually stack and initially the size is zero. So this is actually the basic data definition for the stack using linked list. Next, what you do, uh, we are going to look at the push function. As you see, void push function, I am actually inserting a data. It's an integer element. What I did, I need to check first whether the size has drawn beyond the capacity. If the size is higher, we say stack overflow cannot be added return. You cannot return because though it is a link list, but I can skip this part also. I don't need to check. Why? Because we know we can push as many as we want. You can also skip this if block. You don't need that block. Second thing what we do is since we are inserting in this linked list insert operation and push operation is very similar. So what you do, you create a node and push onto the stack. So I have a new node, I allocate a memory, then I assign this data using arrow operator, new node, element, whatever data I'm passing. And then next, next you see I'm connecting to top. That means it's going to be the first element. You remember what happens? In linked list, you insert, it comes at the end, but in this case, it always comes at the top. So, you get into the top again, new net, next node is top. Make sure new node is always at top, so top is equal to new node. Now, new node, that means the new node is actually top, and now you increase the size, because you are actually, since you have started inserting, so size becomes one, because I am comparing size with the capacity. And then you de de define a message, the data is pushed onto the stack. So, what you see new in compared to array is that you have to create a 
dynamic allocation using a pointer tool. In new node, you assign data and then the next item you connect to top. We will actually do this hands on while we are discussing. Now, the pop function coming into our discussion is that it returns integer, of course, the, the data is integer, and then I define a local variable data. And this is my top node. You remember this top node is a pointer. What is my job? My job is to check first whether there is a stack empty or not. If the size is less than zero or not top, that means the stack is empty, we return minus one because I, I have nothing to uh, pop from the stack. The stack is already empty. In case of pop, we do actually link this delete operation because I have to take a node out and also delete the node. So what I do, I first, you see, copy the reference of the stack top to some temporary variables and I keep this top node is my temporary variable. Keep the top here. Now copy the data from a stack stop element. So what I do, I get this data from top data because the first node is the top, please remember. So I get the data into my data. This data I will return. And then what I do, I move the top to the next element. Top is equal to top next. But you remember one thing, top node is already connected to top, but top has moved. Now what I do, when top is moved, I have this top node is already connected to the first node. And I just free first node. That means already removed. I have the data already here. And then I return the data and decrease the size by one because I pop one element. So what happens in case of linked list when I insert, when I push actually insert a node at the beginning, when I pop, take the data and delete the node from the beginning. That's actually insert, that's actually push and pop operation in case of stack implementation of um, linked list implementation of stack. So, what are the applications? There are many, many applications. Some direct applications, you can see conversion of tail recursive algorithm to iterative ones. Tail recursion will be covered. We, we will discuss sometimes keep track, keeping tracking of the method calls because compiler is, is directly using stack. Evaluation of arithmetic expression by compiler. You see in fix to postfix, we will discuss this. In fix to prefix and evaluation of postfix. Some indirect application, auxiliary data structure for algorithms and components of other data structures. Now, stack application, application of stack, you can see using a postfix expression. This is a, no, this is actually a postfix expression, but this is an arithmetic expression. This expression we call actually infix. Why? Because the operator is inside, you see. And I will actually discuss this in a separate discussion. So we stop up to here now. Uh, we'll have a detailed discussion of stack applications in the next uh, uh, you know, video discussions. So we'll stop right up to here now and uh, we take a look ahead to learn stack and uh, practice programming using a stack.